Today, I'll show you how I make my videos using AI. Creating content can be time-consuming, frustrating, and stressful, especially if you're working towards a deadline. I started out creating videos a little over a month ago with basically no previous experience, other than working with other AI tools not related to video making. So what I'm saying is that if you really want to learn this and have no previous experience, you can, if you're just willing to put in the hours. In this video, I'll walk you through how I create my content from start to finish using four different AI tools and a basic editing app. Step by step, I'll walk you through how I create my script, how I create AI visuals and motions, how I generate AI voices for the characters, how I lip sync my characters. And in the end of this video, I'll show you how I put everything together by editing the material, adding effects, and completing the video in an easy-to-use application. Before I show you the secret sauce and how to put these bits and pieces together into a video, I just want to thank you for sticking around. My name is Alexander Irving, but you can just call me AI. If you like my content, check out my other videos, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Now, let's have a look at how we make this into a video. The first thing I do is to write a rough draft of the script. Here I try to pin down the main topics or bullet points that I want to convey with my video. When I have the topics written down, together with one sentence of content for each topic, I head over to my first AI tool, ChatGPT. Here I ask ChatGPT to help me write my script. A couple of tips here. Be specific and tell it exactly what you want. Ask ChatGPT to act as a specialist in your area when asking for help. If you're not happy with the result, try again by slightly changing your request. The next step involves nailing the tone and the length of the text in ChatGPT by specifying if I want either a casual tone or more formal tone, and also specifying the exact length of text I'm looking for. I usually go back and forth a couple of times between my document and ChatGPT until I'm happy. The last step is to add a human touch to the script, which I do myself by a final edit. With the script ready, I head over to my next AI tool, Leonardo AI. Here, I create my visuals for the video. You can use any settings you like, but I find that these settings work best for me. Kino XL, V2, Alchemy. And don't forget to set your requested resolution. I use the highest one available. Write your prompt and generate your pictures. A couple of tips here. If you need help with writing your prompt, use the prompt generation tool. Here you enter a basic prompt, and Leonardo gives you a couple of detailed prompt suggestions. I often use this myself. When prompting, start your prompt with a high resolution picture of. Then add your prompt and end it with the following text, illustrated in extremely high resolution. Nine times out of ten, this will give you a picture with better quality. The last step of generating my visuals is adding motions to the pictures. I do this by selecting the image I want and then clicking the motion button. Motion can be set to 1 to 10 on the motion scale. When adding motion to pictures without people, I usually set it to 4 on the scale. This gives the image a good amount of motion without screwing it up. Too much motion can do that. When adding motion to pictures with people, I usually set it to 2 on the motion scale. Feel free to try any settings you like, but I'm pretty sure these are the best ones for generating a high volume of motion pictures, since these settings are the ones most likely to give you a satisfying result. Then download these to your computer and make sure to also download some of the once without motion as well. The once without motion are the ones I use for the lip sync. Let's have a look at how that works. To lip sync your pictures, you first need to generate your AI voices. This could be done in the same application, but I prefer to use 11 labs for my voices and then lip sync it in another app, which I'll show you in a second. So here in 11 labs, I choose my preferred voice and can choose gender, age, tonality, and language. Then I just enter my text and click Generate. A couple of tips here. Try and generate it a couple of times if you're not happy with the result. Try different spellings. 
If it doesn't sound right, the goal is, of course, to get the right sound. Sometimes that means spelling it wrong. You can emphasize words using capital letters or parentheses. Also, use dots, commas, and spaces where needed to get the right flow of the text. When I got my AI voices, I head over to HeyGen. In HeyGen, I upload my picture by clicking Add Talking Photo. I then choose the photo and the format I want, either landscape or portrait. Portrait is suitable for Reels or YouTube Shorts, while landscape is the right format for these kinds of videos. Then I choose the right background settings for my picture and upload my voice and click Submit to generate my talking photo. When this is done, I download it to my computer and head over to the last step of the process. Now let's have a look at where the magic happens. The program I use for this is called Canva. It's easy to use and didn't take long to learn. There's also tutorials on this on YouTube if you want a more thorough walkthrough of Canva. The first thing I do is choose my template. For these videos, I use a blank template, but there's plenty to choose from. If you're looking for a specific design, just search or browse the bar to the left. Here I upload my files. It can be anything from pictures or MP4s, video files, to sound files. Anything that's going into the video, basically. Put it in the correct order from left to right. Add text or other visual elements where needed and choose when they should pop up on the screen by setting the time. Add effects to the visual elements. In this case, I'm choosing the typewriting effect for my texts on the screen. I'm also adjusting the speed of this effect to match the voiceover. I do that by adjusting this bar here to the left. When I'm satisfied with the visual elements, it's time to choose the transitions for the clips. The transitions is chosen by clicking the white space between the clips. Then click on the one that says Transitions. Here there's a number of available transitions to choose from. When I got the one I want, I look through the video and make sure everything looks the way I want it. And that's it, guys. Happy editing.